Please like and share. Let's talk about your maternity care and COVID-19 pregnancy and childbirth can be a time of great joy as well as apprehension, especially during this time of COVID-19. We want to assure you that we are taking every precaution to ensure your safety and well-being. We have implemented extra safeguards, including more frequent cleaning, entrance screenings and social distancing in our registration and waiting areas. The following steps are designed to keep you, your family and our providers healthy and safe. We may be cancelling some routine office visits or converting them to video visits to reduce person-to-person -person contact. When you do need to come into the office, we ask that you do not bring any visitors with you. See our updated visitor restrictions for the latest information. To keep our patients and staff safe, everyone who enters the hospital or clinics has a health screening to make sure they do not have any symptoms of COVID-19. Those who have symptoms are not permitted to enter. Everyone who enters the hospital or clinics is given a mask to wear. This mask is worn with every person-to-person -person interaction to ensure that even those who do not have symptoms will not spread the virus. All pregnant women who are admitted to labor and delivery will undergo testing for COVID-19 to make sure they don't carry the virus and to prevent transmission to others. If a hospital patient does have or is suspected to have the virus, we use rigorous protocols for infection control to prevent the spread of COVID-19. All healthcare providers use appropriate protective equipment to keep everyone safe. Taking care of you and your baby while you're pregnant it's important to take care of your baby, even before he or she is born. You can do this by living a healthy lifestyle and keeping doctor's appointments while you're pregnant. This is called prenatal care. You're more likely to have a healthy birth if you maintain a healthy pregnancy. Path to improved health schedule and appointment with your doctor as soon as you find out you're pregnant. Your doctor will start by reviewing your medical history. He or she also will want to know about your symptoms. During this first appointment, urine and blood samples will be taken. These will also be taken again on later visits. Urine tests check for bacteria, high sugar levels, which can be a sign of diabetes, and high protein levels, which can be a sign for preeclampsia, a type of high blood pressure during pregnancy. Blood tests check for blood cell count, blood type, low iron levels, anemia, and infectious diseases such as syphilis, HIV, and hepatitis. The doctor also may do other tests at your first visit. These may vary based on your background and risk for problems. Tests can include a pelvic exam to check the size and shape of your uterus womb, a pap smear to screen for cervical cancer, an ultrasound to view your baby's growth and position, an ultrasound uses sound waves to create an image of your baby on a video screen. After your first visit, you will have a prenatal visit every four weeks. In months seven and eight, you will have a visit every two weeks. In your last month of pregnancy, the visits will occur weekly until you deliver your baby. At each visit, the doctor will check your weight and blood pressure and test your urine. The doctor will listen to your baby's heartbeat and measure the height of your uterus after the 20th week. You should always discuss any issues or concerns you have with your doctor. Here are some other guidelines to follow during your pregnancy. How much weight should I gain during pregnancy? Talk to your doctor about this. It's different for everyone, but most women should gain about 25 to 30 pounds. If you're underweight when you get pregnant, you may need to gain more. If you are overweight, you may need to gain less. What should I eat? Eating a balanced diet is one of the best things you can do for yourself and your baby. Be careful of the following foods and drinks during pregnancy. Raw meat, eggs, and fish. Food that isn't fully cooked can put you at risk for food poisoning. Don't eat more than two or three servings of fish per week, including canned fish. Don't eat shark, swordfish, king mackerel, or tilefish. These fish have high levels of mercury, which can harm your baby. If you eat tuna, make sure it's light tuna. Don't eat more than 6 ounces of albacore tuna and tuna steaks per week. It's safe to have 12 ounces of canned light tuna per week. Fruit and vegetables, wash all produce before eating it. Keep cutting boards and dishes clean. Eat 4 or more servings of dairy each day. This will give you enough calcium for you and your baby. Don't drink unpasteurized milk or eat unpasteurized milk products. These may have bacteria that can cause infections. This includes soft cheeses such as brie, feta, camembert, and blue cheese, or Mexican-style cheeses, such as queso fresco. Sugar substitutes, some artificial sweeteners are okay in moderation. 
These include aspartame brand names Equal or NutraSweet and sucralose brand name Splenda. However, if you have phenylketonuria PKU, avoid aspartame. Don't drink more than one or two cups of coffee or other drinks with caffeine each day. Can I take medicine? Check with your doctor before taking any medicine. This includes prescriptions, pain relievers, and over-the-counter medicines. Some medicines can cause birth defects, especially if taken during the first three months of pregnancy. Can I take vitamins? Pregnant women should take at least 400 micrograms MCG of folic acid each day. It can help prevent problems with your baby's brain and spine. Ask your doctor if you need more than 400 MCG. It's best to start taking folic acid before you get pregnant. You can get folic acid from taking a prenatal vitamin. You should take this every day. Don't take other vitamins or supplements without your doctor's approval. How long can I keep working? How late you work in pregnancy varies for each person. Your job and work environment play a big role. For instance, jobs that involve radiation, lead and other materials, such as copper and mercury, can be harmful to your baby. If your job is active, you may not be able to work as long. Desk jobs aren't thought to cause harm to your baby. However, you should not rest a computer on your stomach or uterus. Your overall health also plays a part in how long you work. If you're at risk of certain issues or preterm labor, you may be on bed rest and not able to work. What about exercise? Unless you have issues during pregnancy, you should get regular exercise. Exercise promotes a healthy lifestyle and can help ease discomfort. Try to get at least 30 minutes of exercise each day. Talk to your doctor about any conditions that may prevent exercise. Some women say exercising while pregnant makes labor and delivery easier. Walking and swimming are great choices. If you were active before pregnancy, it is probably safe to continue. If you weren't active before pregnancy, start slowly. Listen to your body and don't overdo it. Drink plenty of water to prevent overheating or dehydration, especially in the second trimester. It's best to avoid exercises that may cause you to fall. This includes skiing and rock climbing. You also should avoid contact sports, such as soccer or basketball. Ask your doctor if you have any concerns. Call your doctor if you have symptoms with exercise, such as Blurred vision, dizziness, chest pain, stomach pain, can I have sex? It's safe to have sex while you're pregnant. However, talk to your doctor if you have concerns or are at risk for problems. Some women's level of interest in sex changes when they're pregnant. As you grow, you may need to try different positions, such as lying on your side or being on top. What can I do to feel better? Below are common side effects of pregnancy with tips on how to manage them. Morning sickness nausea or vomiting may strike anytime during the day or night. Try eating frequent, small meals. Avoid foods that are greasy, spicy, or acidic. Some women are more nauseous when their stomach is empty. Keep crackers nearby to prevent an empty stomach. Talk to your doctor if morning sickness causes you to lose weight or lasts past the first three months of pregnancy. Tiredness fatigue is common when you're pregnant. Try to get enough rest or take naps if possible. Talk to your doctor if you have symptoms with fatigue. You may have anemia. Leg cramps being active can help reduce leg cramps. Stretch the calf of your leg by flexing your foot toward your knee. Also stay hydrated by drinking lots of water. Constipation drink plenty of fluids. Eat foods with lots of fiber, such as fruits, vegetables, and bran cereal. Don't take laxatives without talking to your doctor first. Stool softeners may be safer than laxatives. Hemorrhoids try to avoid becoming constipated. Don't strain during bowel movements. Clean yourself well after a bowel movement. Wet wipes may feel better than toilet paper. Take warm soaks, sits baths, if necessary. Urinating more often You may need to urinate more often when you are pregnant. Changing hormones can be a factor. Also, as your baby grows, he or she will put pressure on your bladder. Varicose veins avoid clothing that fits tightly around your waist or legs. Rest and put your feet up as much as you can. Avoid sitting or standing still for long periods. Ask your doctor about support or compression hose. These can help prevent or ease varicose veins. Moodiness Your hormones are on a roller coaster ride during pregnancy. Your whole life is changing. Don't be too hard on yourself. 
Get help right away if you feel sad or think about suicide. Heartburn Eat frequent, small meals. Avoid spicy, greasy, or acidic foods. Don't lie down right after eating. Ask your doctor about taking antacids. Yeast infections The amount of discharge from your vagina can increase during pregnancy. Yeast infections, which can cause discharge, are common as well. Talk to your doctor if you see any unusual discharge or if it has an odor. Bleeding gums brush and floss regularly. See your dentist for cleanings. Don't avoid dental visits because you're pregnant. Just be sure to tell your dentist you're pregnant. Stuffy nose changes in the levels of the female hormone estrogen can cause a stuffy nose. You may also have nosebleeds. Edema, retaining fluid, rest with your legs up as much as you can. Lie on your left side while sleeping. This position helps blood flow from your legs back to your heart better. Don't use diuretics, water pills. Skin changes stretch marks appear as red marks on your skin. Lotion with shea butter can help keep your skin moist and reduce itchy, dry skin. Stretch marks can't be avoided. They do often fade after pregnancy. You may have other skin changes. These can include darkening of the skin on your face or around your nipples. Some women get a dark line below their belly button. Try to stay out of the sun or use sunscreen to help lessen these marks. Most marks will fade after pregnancy. Things to consider There are several things you should avoid while you're pregnant. Take notice to follow this list of warnings. Talk to your doctor if you need help. Don't smoke or be around people who do smoke. Smoking raises your risk for miscarriage, preterm birth, low birth weight, and other health problems. Don't use drugs. Cocaine, heroin, marijuana, and other drugs increase your risk of miscarriage, preterm birth, and birth defects. Your baby could be born addicted to the drug you've been abusing. This is called neonatal abstinence syndrome. It can can cause severe health problems for your baby. Don't drink alcohol. Drinking alcohol is the major cause of preventable birth defects, including fetal alcohol disorder. Don't clean your cat's litter box or eat raw or undercooked red meat. You could get toxoplasmosis, a disease that can cause birth defects. Don't douche. Your vagina doesn't require cleansing in addition to normal bathing. Douching disrupts the helpful bacteria that keep your vagina clean. When to see a doctor call your doctor if you have blood or fluid coming from your vagina, sudden or extreme swelling of your face or fingers, headaches that are severe or won't go away, nausea and vomiting that won't go away, dizziness, dim or blurry vision, severe pain or cramps in your lower abdomen, chills or fever, a change in your baby's movements, less urine or burning when you urinate, an illness or infection, any other symptoms that bother you, questions to ask your doctor what medicines can I take during pregnancy, when should I start taking a prenatal vitamin, what kind is best, how much folic acid do I need to take each day, how can I prevent or reduce swelling, how much weight should I gain while pregnant, do's and don'ts for a safer pregnancy congratulations on your pregnancy this page covers the evidence-based recommendations from midwives of things to do and not do in pregnancy the page covers things activities foods medicines etc in life that may carry a risk to your developing baby following the recommendations on this page will reduce your risk of pregnancy complications or loss all of the information is based on research evidence do take folic acid and vitamin D folic acid reduces your baby's risk of neural tube defects to almost nil. It is ideal to start taking it three months before conception but if it's too late for that, don't worry but start taking the recommended daily amount now and continue taking it until the end of the first trimester, week 12 of your pregnancy vitamin D helps your baby develop healthy bones, teeth and muscles. It helps to regulate the levels of calcium and phosphate in your body. You need these to keep your bones and teeth healthy. Read more about vitamin D. Taking a daily vitamin D supplement is even more important if you are at risk of vitamin D deficiency. If you have darker skin if you get less sunlight, for example you stay inside a lot, or if you usually cover your skin for cultural reasons. These two supplements are the only ones you need in pregnancy unless your doctor or midwife diagnoses a deficiency, such as iron deficiency. You can buy them cheaply in high street chemists or supermarkets, if you buy own brand supplements individually they can be cheaper than the branded packs of pregnancy vitamins. 
Do stay active being sedentary, sitting down a lot, is not healthy for you or your baby. It puts you at higher risk of too much weight gain, gestational diabetes, preeclampsia and varicose veins and you are more likely to have shortness of breath and lower back pain. If you did exercise before you became pregnant, you can continue at the same level but listen to your body and slow down when you feel uncomfortable. If you didn't exercise before you became pregnant, you don't have to take up organized exercise classes, the important thing is to be active. There are tips here to help you build exercise into your day. The recommended amount of activity for pregnant women is 30 minutes a day 4 times a week. Do think about what you eat some foods carry a small risk of infections, such as toxoplasmosis or listeriosis. Others can give you food poisoning, such as salmonella. Others have too much vitamin A or mercury, which can harm your developing. Listeria infection is rare but if you get it can severely damage your unborn baby. Foods that are more likely to carry listeria. Mold ripened soft cheese, such as camembert or brie, and soft blue vein cheese, there is no risk with hard cheese such as cheddar, parmesan or stilton, or with cottage cheese or processed cheese, pâté, even vegetable pâté, unpasteurized milk salmonella food poisoning is unlikely to harm your baby, but it can give you a severe bout of diarrhea and vomiting. Foods that are more likely to carry salmonella. Unpasteurized milk avoid eating raw or partially cooked eggs or food that may contain them, such as mayonnaise, unless they are produced under a food safety standard called the British Lion Code of Practice Toxoplasmosis infection is rare but if you get it can severely damage your unborn baby. Foods that are more likely to carry the toxoplasma parasite. Uncooked or undercooked ready prepared meals raw or partially cooked meat, especially poultry unwashed vegetables and salad cured or fermented meat, these can made safe by freezing or cooking before eating, too much vitamin A can affect your developing baby. Foods that have high doses of vitamin A are liver and liver products high dose multivitamin supplements fish liver oil supplements or any supplements containing vitamin a too much mercury and other pollutants such as dioxins and polychlorinated biphenyls pcbs if you eat the following you are at risk of eating too much mercury and other substances that may harm your growing baby shark swordfish or marlin more than two tuna steaks a week about 140 grams cooked or 170 grams raw each more than four medium-sized cans of tuna a week more than two portions of oily fish a week such as salmon trout mackerel and herring do eat fish within the limits above though as it's a good source of nutrition for your baby do consider taking the vaccinations that are offered in pregnancy you will be offered two vaccinations You'll be offered the whooping cough vaccine by your GP or midwife. You will be offered this vaccination to boost your antibodies. These antibodies will be passed to your baby through the placenta. The best time to get vaccinated to protect your baby is from week 16 up to 32 weeks of pregnancy. You can have the vaccine anytime from 16 weeks but if you have it after 38 weeks it may be less effective. You'll be offered the flu vaccine between September and February. There is evidence that pregnant women can be more at risk of developing complications if you get flu during pregnancy. Do carry your pregnancy notes it is recommended to carry your antenatal notes everywhere you go as they contain all your medical and pregnancy history. This is particularly important if you need to go to the maternity unit, especially at short notice, as this is how health professionals will be able to see your history and what has been happening in your pregnancy. Do take any overseas holidays before 37 weeks women have said that the best time in pregnancy for overseas holidays is the middle of pregnancy. Nausea and tiredness are common in the first 12 weeks of pregnancy, and the risk of miscarriage is also higher in the first 3 months, this is not linked to traveling. Traveling in the final months of pregnancy can be tiring and uncomfortable. If you decide to travel later in pregnancy, check your plans with airline. The likelihood of going into labor is higher after 37 weeks and some airlines will not let you fly. After week 28 of pregnancy, the airline may ask for a letter from your doctor or midwife confirming your due date and that you aren't at risk of complications check your plans with your travel insurer. Is pregnancy covered in the event of an accident bring your maternity notes with you. Long distance travel 5 hours or more also carries a small risk of deep vein thrombosis DVT or blood clots so drink plenty of water and try and move around during the flight. Do be aware of these symptoms there are some symptoms that should always be checked with a midwife or doctor as they could be a sign that the baby is unwell. 
Bleeding from the vagina painful urination sudden, sharp or continuing abdominal pain or cramps persistent or severe headache swelling in face, hands or legs blurred vision, spots in front of eyes itching, especially on hands or feet baby's movements slowing down or changing excessive or smelly vaginal discharge or if you think your waters have broken you should also contact your midwife if you feel that something is wrong with you or the baby, even if you don't know exactly what it is. It's important to trust your instincts in pregnancy. Don't do these in pregnancy don't eat for two there's no need for extra calories in the first or second trimesters. In the third trimester, you should have an extra 200 calories if you are active. This is the equivalent to half a sandwich. Don't smoke smoking is a major modifiable risk factor, something you can change for all sorts of health problems for your baby. It's never too late to stop. Think about getting support, as this has been shown to make staying off cigarettes more likely. Don't drink alcohol Don't drink alcohol, especially in the first trimester when the baby's brain is going through a period of intense development. Don't take drugs Cocaine, metamphetamines, cannabis, psychoactive substances so-called legal highs are all likely to increase risks of health problems. If you are taking illegal drugs it is really important to talk to your midwife or doctor. They will not judge you and can give you the right care and support during your pregnancy. The more they know, the more they can help you and your baby to get the right treatment. Don't drink or eat too much caffeine More than 60% of women who checked their caffeine intake on our caffeine calculator were surprised to find that they were over the limit. High levels of caffeine during pregnancy can result in low birth weight babies, which can increase the risk of health problems in later life. Too much caffeine has also been linked to miscarriage. Don't diet in pregnancy Cutting out food groups may deprive your baby against nutrients they need for growth. Instead of dieting, it is best to have a healthy balanced diet. Eating well can help you have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. 1. Don't forget breakfast. Try fortified ready-to-eat or cooked breakfast cereals with fruit. Fortified cereals have added nutrients, like calcium. If you are feeling sick, start with whole wheat toast. Eat more food later in the morning. 2. Eat foods with fiber. Choose a variety of vegetables and fruits, like carrots, cooked greens, bananas, and melon. Eat plenty of beans and whole grains. Try brown rice or oatmeal. 3. Choose healthy snacks. Low-fat or fat-free yogurt with fruit whole grain crackers with fat-free or low-fat cheese 4. Take a prenatal vitamin with iron and folic acid every day. Iron keeps your blood healthy. Folic acid helps prevent birth defects. 5. Eat up to 12 ounces a week 2 average meals of fish or shellfish. A 3 ounce serving is about the size of a deck of cards. Avoid fish and shellfish with high levels of mercury. Don't eat shark, swordfish, king mackerel, or tilefish. If you eat tuna, choose canned light tuna. Albacore, white tuna has more mercury. Common fish that are low in mercury include shrimp, salmon, and catfish. 6. Stay away from soft cheeses and lunch meat. Some foods may have bacteria that can hurt your baby. Don't eat. Soft cheeses like feta, brie, and goat cheese uncooked or undercooked meats or fish like sushi, lunch meats and hot dogs unless they are heated until steaming hot 7. Limit caffeine and avoid alcohol. Drink decaffeinated coffee or tea. Drink water or seltzer instead of soda. Don't drink alcohol. 36 tips for a healthy pregnancy before you can take care of your new baby, you need to take care of yourself and your unborn child. There's a lot of advice out there. Much of it is common sense, but some things, like avoiding cat litter, might be news. Your first tip, as soon as you suspect you're pregnant, see your doctor and visit pregnancy and childbirth at UC San Diego Health. Prenin C Take a prenatal vitamin exercise regularly Write a birth plan Educate yourself Change your chores Avoid harsh or toxic cleaners Heavy lifting Track your weight gain Normal weight gain is 25 to 35 pounds Get comfortable shoes Eat folate rich foods Lentils, asparagus, oranges, fortified cereals Eat calcium rich foods Dairy, canned fish, soy Eat more fish Except those high in mercury Eat foods with fiber Don't eat soft cheeses Unpasteurized styles like brie and feta may contain bacteria that can cause fever, miscarriage or pregnancy complications, eat your veggies, eat 5 or 6 well-balanced meals each day but don't overeat. You only need 300 to 500 additional calories per day. Keep a food diary. 
Limit caffeine drink plenty of fluids 6-8 ounce glasses of water per day Prenancy don't drink alcohol wear sunscreen fly smart Avoid air travel if possible early and late in pregnancy Avoid changing cat litter to reduce risk of toxoplasmosis Give in to cravings Sometimes know when to call your doctor with concerns don't smoke Avoid secondhand smoke Get enough sleep wear your seatbelt Don't take over the counter medications or herbal remedies without medical consultation Prenancy see your dentist take a pregnancy class baby sit a friend's baby for some real world experience tour birth facilities practice relaxation techniques daily yoga stretching deep breathing massage don't over medicate exercise but don't overdo it stretch before bed to avoid leg cramps take a picture of yourself before the baby arrives health is health